Kim Eden. And she received her PhD in philosophy from the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and currently teaches critical thinking, ethics, and Asian philosophy courses at Minneapolis Community Technical College and Hamlin University. Her talk is entitled, The Moral Extension of Compassion in Menzi, Empathy or Dissonance. Thank you. And generally, uh, this is a very new topic for me and my dissertation is about Kant, not Mons. And also I'm doing political philosophy, not moral psychology, but I'd really like to take this opportunity to get some feedback and to explore the new area. So the, uh, I will start my uh, talk with the particular, uh, the title is The Moral Extension of Compassion in Mons and Empathy or Dissonance. And there is an uh, interesting passage from Mons. Why the king was sitting up in his hall and the ox was led past below, the king saw it and said, where is the ox going? And who he replied, well, well, about to richly or not the bell with its blood. The king said, spirit, I can't bear its frightening appearance like the innocent going to the execution ground. And who had replied, so should we dispense with the anon anointing of the bell? The king said, how can that be dispensed with, exchanged for a sheep? So that's kind of like the uh, passage from the monks, and uh, very interesting. And many scholars uh, associate the compassion here because they generally feel like it describes the king's compassion for the ox, and with the sympathy or empathy. And as Stephen Darwin and uh, distinguish, mm -mm, and the sympathy is for the person or her plight is viewed as from the third person perspective of one caring, and. Uh, while empathy involves something like a shared of one's mental state frequently from her standpoint. And empathy ad advocated by Stephen Darwin has several forms, including emotional contention, projective empathy, and simulations, and proto-sympathetic empathy. And in this paper, I will first apply the Darwin's different forms of empathy into the case, to the case of the King Xuan and Ox. And people have a tendency to share feelings of pain when they witness the expression of pain, such as the frightened face of the ox. And as the angel of compassion, empathy further involves a metaphysical oneness, which stimulates those communicated or shared feelings. And just like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the previous presenter talked about the shared feeling with the animals. And as Thomas Nagel asked, what is it like to be a vet? Does the limit of subjective experience bring cognitive difficulty of sharing intersubjective feeling, which are the basis of empathy? So the first question, I will start with that passage to try, and I will try to apply the different forms of the empathy to the case to see whether <coughs> empathy could explain the, uh, the king shrinks, the psychological feeling about the ox. So the first is emotional contention. Emotional contention is like is the lowest level of the empathy described by the double. So like the disease automatic automatic spreading by touching, empathy as emotional contention refers to a mental state in which we directly catch another person's feeling. And empathy as emotional contention is further tied to the communicated feelings or, or emotional mimicry. Such a mental state could stimulate shared sentiments between the subject and object without a subject any moral judgment of praise or blame. A typical example of emotional contention is infant reactive crying. According to the empathy as emotional contention, an ox frightened appearance initiates King's the facial mimicry and further stimulates his emotional mimicry of the ox pain. And and the experiments show that when subjects witness uh, apparent expression of pain, their tendency to mimic are substantially <coughs> affected by how like eye contact is with the pain expression person. The result is compatible with the king's behavior of exchanging an ox for the sheep. Without seeing the frightened appearance of the sheep, and the king does not directly catch a like fear from the sheep and thereby feels more comfortable to watch the ritual ceremony by Tommy, a bell with his blood. So this is the first level, lowest level of the empathy. And the second level called the projective empathy and stimulation. You might have some similarity with the projective sympathy like the previous presenter talked about. Compared to emotional, uh, compared to emotional contingent, projective empathy as the advanced form of empathy requires our imaginative projection of ourselves from the object's perspective in the like situations. So the question, uh, 
and we place ourselves in their situation and work out what we would think, want, and do if we were they. The subject imagines what it's like to feel what the object feels. According to the projective empathy, King Xuan, the king projects himself into the ox standpoint and imaginatively feels the ox fear. Those imagined feelings from the other perspective could be triggered by certain metaphysical oneness. And what if I were that ox? However, such an imaginative projection described by projective empathy, it's, I try to just explain, interpret this particular passage. At least it's not such obvious in the case of King Xuan. Consider the huge identity gaps between the king and ox. What is it like to be the ox in that situation? If the king actually feels the ox misery in such a situation, it is also likely he would imagine that to feel a sheep's uh, fear in the same situation. It should not be impossible to imaginatively project himself from the sheep's perspective if he could have imagined a copy of ox fear in the same situation. But the situation is he exchanged the ox for a sheep indicate that he does not attempt to aware a sheep's fear. And then the king said, remember one passage from, the, uh, one sentence from the passage, the king said, spare it. I can't bear its frightened appearance like an innocent going to the execution route. So one way to link the projective empathy and the case of King Xuan, uh, suggested by the scholar called the Shi Rong Law, is that King Xuan does display projective empathy when he connects the ox the distress with the pain that innocent would have received from the wrong punishment. He put himself in the situation of the wrong man in the story. He helped to by recalling his memory in use of being wrongly punished by his father. So they might have had some space to connect with the uh, imaginative uh, empathy with this particular case. And uh, so the uh, so that's a kind of like summary about project empathy. It requires the king project himself into the ox standpoint, or the king project himself into the innocent standpoint. And another difference between the emotional contention and the projective empathy is that shared feelings are stimulated without any moral judgment in the lower level of empathy, but involve the confirmation of the value judgment in the advanced level. So our projective empathy show them that we agree with about how to feel, and it involves certain value judgment. Correspondingly, project empathy plays certain communicating functions uh, in framing the normative community, such as communicating function is out. But, but such communicating function is at least not explicitly presented between the king and us. The king does not express his disconfirmation of sacrificing the animal for the ritual ceremony. Further, the appearance of the normative community between the animal king is far from possible, merely driven by his behavior because he exchanged the ox for the sheep. And the third level of the advanced level, uh, the third level of empathy is proto-sympathetic empathy. And here is kind of like the uh, middle level between the projective empathy and the higher level sympathy, because sympathy requires you sincere consideration for other person's behavior. Uh, behalf. And this is, uh, it involves a double vision. The first version is imagine being the object situation and the object's feeling. So what a fear this ox would have. And the second vision is imagine what it would be like for that person to feel that way. What a terrible thing for the ox being led to, uh, to slander. So there are two versions. The former version takes the imagined situation and the feeling as the internal objects while the later versions take the object and is distressed as internal objects. And uh, as to the case of King Xuan, projective empathy illustrated the king's response to the ox situation, what fear this ox would have, and the proto-sympathetic, uh, uh, just the fear at the lower level is the internal object of certain psychological thinking, and the higher level is we, the king have the concern about the ox with Mis uh, situation in this for her. What a terrible thing for the ox being led to slip. However, proto sympathetic uh, empathy needs more conditions, including the relationship between the subject and the object, to give rise to sympathy, which involves the real concern for the object's well being on the other's behalf. Does the king have the real concern for the animal's good of well being? 
A real, a general concern for the well-being of the objects requires the subject want for the objects, what the object wants for itself. That's the kind of like 